Hi everyone. I'm Özkan and today I'm going to demonstrate you how to download product image from your store into your local device. Uh, by export product image application, uh, you can uh, download your product image into your local device. Uh, when you install the application into your store and open it, uh, you will see this dashboard page. And by clicking create first job button, uh, you can uh, specify the product image and download them. Uh, let's continue. When you open the uh, product filters page, uh, there are different filters to narrow your uh, uh, image results. <coughs> For example, you can specify active uh, status, draft status or archived status. Or you can uh, keep it as is and you can select all the statuses. Uh, for the vendor, you can uh, specify a vendor uh, to install their uh, image. For example, uh, if you have uh, different vendors under your uh, store, uh, you can specify one of them and you can uh, install only these vendors' uh, product image. And for the collection, uh, you can also select uh, from here. Uh, for example, for my store, uh, there are four different uh, collections as autumn, spring, summer and winter. And I can also see the number of images under these collections. You can also uh, select the uh, date range. And when you click this uh, checkbox, uh, the default is last seven days, but you can uh, open the uh, details and you can change as last 30 days or you can specify the date range as custom for example you can select uh, from 2023 to today and when you click on apply uh, you will be able to see the selected dates as here but in my first uh, example I won't use this one as well so I want to download all of my product images and click on preview images. Uh, after the filters page, when you click on uh, preview images, you will see this screen where you can uh, see all the uh, image previews, image titles, product titles, uh, position of the images vendor uh, SQ if uh, it's existing barcode as you can see for my products there is no barcode so uh, it's showing as NA and status of the uh, product and creation date uh, here you can check the details all my product limits are here because I didn't filter them <coughs> And you can also see the search results here. Uh, in total, I have 3,919 uh, products in my store, but I have only uh, 379 uh, images. And I choose all for collection. I choose all for, for status and vendor. I didn't specify any vendor, so all is selected. And I didn't uh, choose a date range, so it is showing as NA. And on the left hand side, you can uh, choose the file name format and folder name format. Uh, for the file name format, there are three options as original file name, SQ and uh, barcode. Uh, for SQM barcode, uh, it also adds uh, position uh, of the image at the end of the image name. For example, here we can see the uh, image title as original, uh, but if I change it to SQ underscore position, you can see uh, all the image titles has uh, position at the end of the image and it's separated by underscore. Uh, for the file name format, you can also choose uh, subfolders. Uh, the default option has uh, no subfolders and you can uh, download all of your product images as one folder. But if you choose product title or product ID, uh, there will be subfolders under your main folder and each product will be separated. For example, I will continue with product title 
and export images. When you click on export image, uh, you will see the uh, log screen. And in this screen, you can see the real-time logs. As you can see, my job is started and the images are uh, downloaded. Okay, the application uh, has downloaded all the uh, images from my store and create a zip folder. And now we have a download button here. Uh, when I click on it, uh, it downloads automatically. And here we can see the uh, folder. Uh, all the subfolders are uh, separated uh, according to their product uh, title. And when I open it, we can see uh, all product images related with this product. For example, for this product, I have 10 uh, product images and all of them are here. And for these products, I have one product image. And for example, for this product, I have five product images. And all of them are separated by product title and they are in uh, different subfolders and in the subfolders we can see product title underscore the order of the image and let's continue with the second example in this example I will uh, use the filters for example I just want to see uh, active uh, products and for the active products I want to also filter the vendor as craft shift Uh, so, uh, when I click on preview image, I will just see uh, the product image uh, which has active status and vendor is craft shift. Uh, you can uh, use all the uh, filters from here. You can combi combine all of them. For example, I can also choose the last seven days uh, from the uh, date range or I can change it as uh, last three days like this from uh, 9th of March to uh, today and when I click on apply and preview image as you can see uh, there are 13 uh, products uh, according to these filters and they have 83 uh, images and I choose the collection as all status was uh, active and vendor is craft shift and the date range is shown here and for this time I want to use original file name as here I don't use barcode and position because my product doesn't have barcode if I choose them uh, the original uh, product name will be shown as uh, here because I don't have any uh, barcode name and for the subfolders I will choose product ID and export image and my job is uh, started uh, here I can check the uh, progress I have 83 images and all of them are downloaded now and now I have also download button so let's download the folder and check it here I have 13 uh, folders for each product I have one uh, subfolder when I check inside I can see all the product limits as or, uh, with original names uh, this is all uh, for the filters and uh, as I said uh, you can specify all the filters from e here and you can combine them if you don't change anything from here uh, you will be able to download all of your product limits uh, if you filter some of them uh, the uh, result will uh, come up according to your filters and on plant step 
uh, you can choose your uh, plan uh, for starter plan uh, you can export up to uh, 1000 emits for advanced plan you can export up to 10000 emits and for premium you can export unlimited emits uh, on each page uh, you can see the support button here when you click on it you can uh, send a direct message to us and you can uh, specify your uh, support queries uh, for example let's create a new conversion that's all from my side thank you for your watching and thank you for your time uh, please do not hesitate to contact us if you need any help uh, if you have any question uh, we would like to uh, help you and thank you again have a nice day bye bye